forget the casinos, forget the shows. Today we're doing something different. We're gonna try three lesser known eateries. Let's go. This place has all types of fish. Yeah. It's a seafood lover's paradise. Marlin, spicy shrimp, octopus, and the chicharron octopus. I'll try the marlin first. Hard to pick up. You got lactose problems, but there's cheese in there, right? Yeah. This red stuff? Is this the marlin? This marlin, it tastes like meat. It has really good spices. It looks like carnitas, huh? This is good. If you're a pescatarian and you want pork, this tastes like just like pork. And then their tortillas, they look like they're handmade. And then we also have the house... House sauce, sauce. habanero sauce. sauce. The marlin is salty, has good spice. The taco has good crunch because of the slaw. The creamy sauce is actually really good balance. Octopus chicharron yeah. with the creamy avocado sauce. Let me see the inside. Lots of tomatoes. Mm. It doesn't have like a too fishy of a texture. Usually like it tastes too fishy, but it's good. The like, crunch on the outside it really does like a chicharron flavor to it. And this is like popcorn shrimp without being too chewy mm. and rubbery. Mm. It's super good. It's 7 50 for each of these, so like it's pretty filling. It's a little pricey, but I think it's worth it. But the fish is, it's not like your typical tuna or salmon. This one was laying in the juices. Yeah, you can kind of see the chunks of it here. Oh yeah. Looks nice and tender. Octopus is so small. I like it. It's called pulp bowl. Try the habanero sauce. Oh yeah. Not too much. Oh. That's good. It has a good kick to it. And this octopus. I will get this again. It's a spicy shrimp with some spicy aioli. This one tastes kind of greasy. Maybe because of the aioli? Yeah, you can kind of see like on the plate here. It's spicy. This is my least favorite out of all of them. Let me try the octopus. Oh, that's so soft. That's a good octopus. Skip the shrimp, get everything else. Just got a mini, mini pizza. A lot of interesting stuff on here is just the Togarashi fried chicken. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Mushroom butter chicken sandal, vegan cheesecake, vegan parm. Sitting in front of the, the stove, it's already really hot. What is she, she putting in there? She's putting ricotta. Ooh. Thank you. Listen to the crust. Four day dough, he said. And when he put it in, it was so little and it became so big. What? Ooh, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. Mm. It's good, it's really good. This ricotta is so soft, real sausage with fennel seeds in there. I think there's a little bit chili in there, in the sauce. I like this dough a lot. The low tea star of the show is the crust, huh? This is a local place. Locals come here and it's so good. Everything's handmade to order as well. It's 14 bucks. And they have vegan stuff. Luckily, we were still full from the last couple of meals, but it was an hour wait. And we're here at 2 p.m. on a Saturday. This is the Chongqing style. This is the Sichuan beef noodles. That's not a noodle pool. Short noodles. Short life. Knife cut. These peanuts and peppercorns. Yeah, both. And cilantro and bok choy. This is so good. Nice and chewy and peanutty. Savory. There's a lot of flavor in this and the, the noodles are very chewy. Look at that oil. Spicy oil. The ratings, I would get this again. I would get this again and I would finish all this one. <laughs> and we haven't even had this one yet. The beef looks so good in this. Look at that. The fatty beef. Try it. It's so melty. This is dangerous. It feels like you could eat like a million of these. This one's a little bit more like cleaner tasting, whereas this, the Chongqing one has a lot more ingredients in it. And I think 
think the peanut flavor comes out a lot more. Whereas this tastes a little bit more traditional to get more of the meat flavor in it. And both are handmade noodles. This one's just knife cut. Yeah. Killed off as much as you could. The noodles, the soup, the quality, it's all what I did not expect from this place in Las Vegas. It's probably one of the best noodles I've ever had, even compared to San Gabriel Valley. And I will come back again next time I'm, I'm in Las Vegas. It's honestly, the noodles were on par, not too overcooked, and it's chewy, the soups are really good, the beef was really tender, just 10 out of 10 all around.